Dearest subscribers, I know that you're going to like this video because it's still interesting, even though it's not the same topic that I usually cover on this channel. In case you're wondering, I'm not planning on taking this channel in a new direction or anything like that. So anyways, I was debating chemistry with Cootie the other day. For those of you who don't know Cootie, Cootie is a talking rodent who lives in the Atacama Desert and loves to impart ancient wisdom. Cootie also has an obsession with the number 5. And what Cootie said to me the other day really shocked me. Although, I guess it probably shouldn't have shocked me because it's exactly the sort of thing that Cootie would say. Cootie said, Your public school teacher was useless. The ancient ones were right all along. Discard your impractical periodic table of elements. There are only five elements that really matter. So what are these five elements, you ask? Let's start with the Earth. By molar quantity, at least 83% of the Earth's crust is made up of only two elements. That's oxygen and silicon. Most of this is in the form of silica, which is also known as silicon dioxide. That's your sand, your rock, your gemstones, your glass, and your clay. The remaining 16% is almost entirely made up of aluminum, sodium, calcium, iron, magnesium, and potassium, and that's it. The other hundred or so elements on the periodic table are so incredibly scarce here on Earth that they're really not even worth mentioning. If we can just forget about oxygen for now, then we can say that Earth is mostly just silicon. Why call it planet Earth? We might as well just call it planet silicon. Earth is essentially silicon, and silicon is number 14 on the periodic table of elements. Water. Water is H2O or dihydrogen monoxide, as we all know. So if we just forget about the oxygen, then all we have left is hydrogen. Water is essentially hydrogen, and hydrogen is number one on the periodic table of elements. Air. The air that we breathe is roughly 80% nitrogen, and the rest is almost entirely oxygen. But let's just forget about oxygen for now. Air is essentially nitrogen, and nitrogen is number seven on the periodic table of elements. Fire. The vast bulk of what burns on this planet is carbon-based. We are oily carbon-based creatures. Animal life is essentially a slow controlled fire, and carbon is our fuel. Now we all know that in addition to fuel, fire also requires another element, namely oxygen. But let's just forget about oxygen for now. Fire is essentially carbon, and carbon is number six on the periodic table of elements. By the way, I'm not surprised that six is the devil's favorite number. Ether. The fifth element is ether, also known as the void, quintessence, pure air, or fresh air, and it was thought to be a universal medium which permeates everything. Oxygen sounds like the perfect candidate for ether, because, as I've just shown, it really does permeate all four of the other elements, and it definitely adds a certain freshness and purity to the air. So there we have it. Earth is silicon, water is hydrogen, air is nitrogen, fire is carbon, and ether is oxygen. So I guess the ancient ones were right all along. If you think that I have any of my facts wrong, I challenge you to debunk anything that I've said in this video. You doubt me? Do the research. Do the math. Just try to prove me wrong. Also, to Ted Turner, if you're watching, 
Please let me do a TED Talk. I promise to do a better job than Steph Guthrie. And you let her do one. Please. I promise you won't regret it. Cootie will do you a big favor that Cootie doesn't offer to just anyone. It's your call.